we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're mad. <laughs> it's been like what six weeks? Something. Oh, a long time. My cheek needs to perk up. What a time since we've been gone. <laughs> I tell you, uh, <sighs> there has ever been a time that a cocktail, mocktail Friday has been needed. It is today. It's today. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a, what a time to be around. I mean, we were gone for a few weeks, people, but hey, SHIT didn't stop happening. It's going down politically, that's for sure. Um, I really I miss you, even though I've seen you a few times. It's been, we miss each other and we miss everybody, all of you out there in the audience. Um, if anyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. We've, we've, we've had a time of it, but we've been really busy. And the book is at the copy editor, so there's that. We made the we made it through the third edit and we got to the copy editor. So that means the manuscript is looking good. Um, the photographs have been insane. <laughs> let's, yeah. just, let's just talk about this. 153 recipes, probably two or three photographs per recipe plus personal photos. Just do the math, okay, and organize all that. <laughs> But yeah, it was kind of cray, but it was fun. And we're almost there. Yes, we're so close. We're so close. So close. So close. But anyway, yes. yeah. So we decided to come up with a hot drink for tonight because we're hot under the collar. To say we're a little angry. <laughs> Doesn't quite cover it. Such an understatement. I, I am seething with anger. I, even though you see my smile, I am seething with anger. Absolutely seething with anger. Yep. <sighs> I am for sure. For absolute certain. So we came up with our plan B five alarm chili lime margarita for tonight. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but yes, pun intended. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. This is what I did. I infused my brown tequila <laughs> with um with shishito peppers from my garden. Wow. I infused my tequila. I had a, a blue agave Jose Cuervo Especial with jalapeno and cayenne pepper. Oh, nice. Did you use a whole pepper, a cayenne pepper, or did you put powder in? I put, I had just the powder. Okay. Powder. Yeah. But okay. It's really easy to infuse alcohol, you guys. It really only takes a couple hours if you want it spicy. It really, so. it really you know, increases the complexity. It's nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are mad AF. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, so I want to show you all. This is the most complicated salt I have ever made for a margarita. Yeah. yeah. And look yeah, at yeah, baby. In it. We've got lime zest, chimayo red chili, sugar, salt. It's all the flavors of a margarita in the salt. Which is cool. In the, in the yeah. rimming. In the rimming of the yeah. cooking. <laughs> okay, this is what I saw at Trader Joe's when I was buying my brown tequila. Yeah. These hot and sweet jalapenos going nice. in the drink. Okay, that's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's going to be my garnish. So let's um, put this up on the rim. So you take the lime juice and you know the limes and you put it around the edge so the salt sticks, right? Yeah, that's where we're, we're doing. No, my glasses are a little chilled. Nice. My beautiful glasses from my friendly spa. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a nice rim. This is so pretty and it's going to taste delicious. Oh my god. Yeah. Now I, I what I did was I made an orange simple syrup okay. to use in the drink. Well um which everybody knows now by now who's been watching us. Simple syrup is equal parts sugar to water. And then you can add your flavoring. So I added 
the peels of at three organic oranges to mine. Nice. And I let that kind of simmer in there for a little while and then I strained it. Look how pretty. It's so pretty. <gasps> yeah. Um, so just so everybody knows, the recipe for simple syrup, among other 153 estrovies, will be in our cookbook coming soon. Yes. Yes, uh, just in case <laughs> you haven't seen us do it enough. Just in case. Lemon Squeezy is making an appearance. Hi, Lemon Squeezy. Um, so I didn't have oranges. So what I did is I made a lime simple syrup. And I am very excited about it. Oh, very nice. And I put a little well, bit of that will work. I have fresh limes, so I'm going to squeeze lime juice for mine. So first we're going to shake it, right? How much lime juice? Well, um, I am making two margaritas because <laughs> David's had to hear me for a few days. So he's getting one and I'm getting one. And so it's six, six ounces, which is the same as three quarters of a cup if you're a non-bartender like us. That's well, so I'm making three ounces, right? Um, yes. If you're making one, yeah. I'm making one, I'm making three ounces of lime juice. Okay. Which is about, let's see. Like a lime and a half, or? Well, uh, I just squeezed one, two, this will be two limes, and that'll be a half a cup. So it's probably going to be more than that okay. to make, well. You're a lime and a half for one person. Yeah, you need quite a bit of lime juice to make these yeah. really, I think it makes them more tasty. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and that's going in my shaker jar. Just so right. you know. Shaker jar since we don't my, <laughs> my 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 uh, fancy mason jar shaker jar. That's right. We're serious bartenders. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if you can remember to do this, do your you know zest your lime ahead of time, then you can squeeze it after. That's it's right. easier to zest it first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm gonna put in my tequila with the jalapeno that's been sitting in for two hours. Yeah, so three. Three limes is, is what I need for two drinks. So yeah, lime and a half is probably good for one. How much? Um, I have some corn syrup. You have triple sec? Yes, I have triple sec. How much are you doing? And I'm going to do an ounce of that. Okay. And an ounce of my orange flavored syrup. I'm going to do half an ounce and half an this ounce. This is what I have. Okay. Okay. Look sort of. Remember we have those Luxardo cherries? It's the oh, same. I still have them in the fridge. <laughs> I love them. Okay, I'm doing half an ounce for one person, and then I'm going to do half an ounce of the lime simple syrup. Oh, oh, this orange. This orange simple syrup, I wish you could smell it. So this is really good for a lot of things. Like, you don't have to just use this in alcohol. If you want to flavor your, um, your Pellegrinos or, you know, this is what I'm going to add. I would use for... Um, for the mocktail, orange simple syrup, mm -hmm. and you know maybe um, same kind of lime juice thing, the same kind of rimming, and then top it with ginger ale. I'm gonna and take this my ginger ale. I love. I know. I'm gonna really take good. my coveted Chimayo red chili from New Mexico, proprietary, and I it's medium, and I'm gonna put a tiny pinch of that in the actual margarita so go. the tequila i got which is a lovely brown tequila is um this one from trader joe's which is a 100 agave and it's got notes of honeyed yam in it that sounds delicious all right now we have the ice right yeah and now i you're gonna do yours on the rocks right yes and you are going to blend it. Yes, and I used crushed ice in mine. Okay. I'm shaking it now with my oh so awesome. Wow, that definitely has a lovely flavor. All right. I got my aggression out on my ice. I put it in this bag and smashed it with a hammer. <laughs> well, sometimes there aren't enough hammers. Yep, that's how it goes. All right, 
These, this is two margaritas in here. Shake it like you mean it. Yeah. Get out that aggression. <laughs> Five alarm! <laughs> Five alarm! Oh my god. Okay, here, I'll put this up while we're hanging out, people, because there is stuff you gotta do. I am pouring it and I want no, to. No, not widgets. Pouring it in. Oh my god, yum. All right. It looks incredible. Oh, that's gorgeous. Take a photo. Perfect. It's time. I'm very <laughs> excited to um, taste this. Yeah, I'm gonna float my hot and sour jalapenos in there. Get a picture. We need, we need pictures. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Hot yeah. and sour jalapenos. And what else do I want to put in there? Maybe a lime curly cube. Did you drink yours already? Yeah, I'm ready. No, I'm waiting for you. Okay, I'm just want to do a lime curly cue. Okay. Okay. Oh like my gosh. this. Like it is. Oh my gosh. Okay, Buzz. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers, oh, my that's friends. Beautiful. Come on over. Gorgeous. Just you know, keep up the fight is all I can really say. And yeah. enjoy this for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. One hundred percent delicious. Mm. Whoa! Oh, I love that little kick of the chili in the back. Yeah, I love the pepper uh, on the ring on the rim of the glass. It. The chili is so good. I've never had it like this before. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Oh yeah. We're inventing <laughs> things. We invent things on Corona Kitchen. We invented this. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I needed this. I needed this like at midnight the other night. <laughs> David's photographing. Yeah. I mean, it is. How do we, how do you even describe the cluster F that it is? Um, I don't know. People have to just stay awake. I I need to bathe in this. You're soaking in it, Madge. <laughs> um, for right now, it's all you can really do. But it, but we have to stay absolutely um, vigilant about what. Okay, so the number here down here is hunters. the hot call summer number. There are bounty hunters. I'm not making this up. They're bounty hunters. Nope, they're bounty hunters. So we need to call. We need to call and tell them to pass the For the People Act. And we need to tell them that has to pass because there is no, no um, uncertainty about why they are suppressing the vote before they passed anti-abortion laws. So we have to outnumber them. And the only way we can do it is with help from the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voting Right Advancement Act. They need to do it. They need to carve out the filibuster to pass this through ha the House and the Senate. Well, the House is already passed, but still. Suppressing voter rights. So. Suppressing voter rights is the downfall of our democracy. So it is. So get to it if you care about your right to vote and your and your vote actually counting, and no state legislature overturning it because that's where we're at, people. And and some state declaring <laughs> that there is a ten thousand dollar bounty on the person who makes a health care choice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just that uh, we need to do that. We need to. Uh, so in addition to the two numbers that you'll call through the, the hot summer, which is your two members of Congress in the Senate, that's who you'll be connected to. Additionally, I call Schumer and tell him to get this passed because he needs to sit on that on his caucus to make sure it goes through. Also, if you hammer know. Time. Yes, ma'am. Hammer time. Also, if you know any women in Texas who need help for whatever reason, I'm just realizing this on my personal Instagram, Noel Films, I listed 15 places that can help. So um, if you want to help financially or you need to help a person specifically, I don't know why I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, just anything from moving to- How you can help. 
Yeah, yeah. donations to everything. And there's yeah, all the next drink should be cluster. <laughs> yeah, it might have to be. But anyway, this is a good one. I hope you guys will try it. It's a great way to kick off um, Labor Day weekend for the labor. Here's to the laborers. Um, because it is so, um, it's a spicy, sweet. You have the amazing lime with the tequila, like you always do with the margarita, but it's just it's a, taste it's of not chili. a great kick. It's not too hot. It's just a great little kick. It's great. No, the, the tequila flavored with the chili that you put in there or the jalapeno or whatever it is, it just sort of extracts that really nice flavor and it's not super hot. If you really don't want it hot, you can just put the, the jalapeno or whatever kind of pepper you put in there that's spicy for less time. So put it in there for two hours instead of five. Debriana, you and I are dining together tomorrow. Maybe we should make these for the barbecue because they would be perfect. <laughs> they will be perfect. We are dining together tomorrow. I'm making the low and slow ribs, which you guys have seen. Lisa's bringing her famous cornbread, which you also have seen. So listen to this. So I saw my cousin Natalie today. They're visiting, and you know she was uh, our food stylist on our cookbook, and she's a superstar in the food world. And she gave me another cornbread recipe that I think I'm going to try for tomorrow. But I have to get awesome. the good sweet corn at the farmer's market in the morning, so that's what I'm going to do. Yay! <laughs> well, tell her I said hi. <laughs> I will. Oh, she's so cute, and. Her and Eric and their little baby Simone, super cute. Oh. And I got to meet her since COVID. Yeah, and if you want to protect your daughter's right to decide uh, what happens uh, with her own body to have bodily autonomy, please get involved. Get involved. And now involved. is the time. Now is the time, people. Well, I just now. want to say something for the uh, people who care so vehemently about the mask freedoms. Well, let's just apply it that same logic to a woman's body. Yeah. Don't, don't get up on my Tell us what to do with our body. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will see you tomorrow at my house, my friend. We will take pictures and post them. We and are. we thank you all for hanging out with us. And we're back. So we'll see you next week. We haven't quite figured out when, but because next week's a holiday. <laughs> It's going to be a couple of days a week, a couple of days a week, but we miss you too, and we hope you're all doing well and keeping safe and yeah, getting your booster, wearing a mask. Yeah. yeah. Doing all this stuff. Caring about Thanks others. Thanks for with us. You guys are awesome. And the pictures are off the charts, you guys. Oh my God. The way you're cooking is just incredible. Cheers to you. Here are cheers to you. Cheers to the Kitchen and all the members and all the chefs. We'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. <laughs>